OpenAI take through new feature for ChatGPT that is memory. See, memory is the biggest problem that people have been trying to solve with conversational agent. How do you feed in some information about you? How do you make the conversational agent remember things about you? This has been a question for a very long time and OpenAI is coming up with a solution for ChatGPT, which is their own chatbot. So what is this new feature? This new feature, first of all, is not available for everybody. It is going to be part of a very small experiment for ChatGPT free and ChatGPT plus users. So if you are lucky enough to be part of this experimental code, please let me know in the comment section. Unfortunately, I'm not part of it. But what we are going to do in this video is I'm going to go through what I know about this memory. And I'm also going to go through some explanation about one of the OpenAI members uh, details on how this memory thing works. So basically what you can do is you can go to ChatGPT and then have uh, the memory available for you. So for example, if you have told ChatGPT something like, for example, I've got a two year old daughter named Lena, ChatGPT remembers that. If you have said like, I love to travel, ChatGPT remembers that. If you have said my daughter Lena loves jellyfish, ChatGPT remembers that. So this is how ChatGPT creates a profile for you or remembers things around whatever you said. And it is a feature that you should technically see it here uh, within your settings. If you go to the settings uh, within your personalization, you should be able to see if you don't have something called personalization, then it does not mean it means that you're not part of the experimental cohort. So let me quickly show you how this memory thing actually works. So typically when you go to chat GPT, you tell chat GPT on Jan 1st, 2024, you tell chat GPT that today is my birthday. So now chat GPT would would just probably wish you back and then that's it. If you go the next day, if you go the day after, or if you go one year after and then you ask chat GPT, do you know my birthday? Chat GPT is not going to remember. It's not going to give you anything. So what is changing? Chat GPT is getting a mini notebook, which it can use to remember things. And for example, if with the new feature, with the new memory feature, you go to ChatGPT on Jan 1st, 2024, and then you tell ChatGPT, today is my birthday. ChatGPT will take a very small note of your birthday because it thinks it's an important event. It is, it, it knows that it is something that it has to store and then it stores it. And then later on, maybe one year later, two years later, or maybe six months later, you go to ChatGPT and then you ask, do you know my birthday? ChatGPT responds back to you saying, yes, I know it because it's Jan 1st. And that knowledge comes from the notebook of ChatGPT. So how does it work? It's very similar to custom instructions. In custom instructions, you give an instruction that is valid for the current session, but this one goes beyond the current session and it is almost like the system prompt, which is the custom instruction. So ChatGPT keeps note of all these individual memory elements and then adds it to the custom event so that the chat session has more information about you than an average chat session without any information about you. So it is very similar to custom instruction, except chat GPT is the one driving it. It's almost like auto versus shift, uh, stick shift. So basically OpenAI has taught chat GPT to keep a notepad for itself. And every time you share an information that chat GPT believes that would be useful for future reference, it will add it to the notebook. Now you might ask like what, what, what is that something that would chat GPT find useful or how do I make sure that chat GPT puts in something in memory or how do I remove something out of the memory? Sometimes you don't want it. Like maybe you have got an ex-girlfriend or a boyfriend and you talked to chat GPT about it and maybe six months later you broke up but you don't want chat GPT to remember it. I mean, what's a nice thing to say about, um, about people anyways. So, Chat, OpenAI is ensuring that you will be in control. So there are five different ways to manage memory. The first one is you explicitly tell ChatGPT to remember something. You can say Jan 1st is my birthday and remember that. You can explicitly say this or you can explicitly tell ChatGPT to forget something also in the chat. The next thing is you can use a feature called temporary chat. 
So if you go to chat GPT, you will actually see a temporary chat feature where you can go chat without having to store anything in memory. This is almost equivalent to the incognito memory of your browser. So all you have to do is open an incognito and that history never gets registered within the browser history that you have got. So here exactly the same thing, whatever happens in this conversation does not go into your permanent memory of your chat GPT profile. The third thing that you can do is you can delete individual memory snippets. Like we discussed these, all these things are individual memory snippets and OpenAI lets you delete those individual memory snippets. And then fourth one is you can basically clear all memories. You, you just don't want to deal with memories. You get a clean slate, you start something fresh. And then finally, you can disable memory altogether. You think that this is not good for you, you can disable it. So OpenAI is saying that these are the five different ways you will be in control of your own memory. And there are like a lot of different offers now. It is helpful for teams. You can put team documents in there. If you are a teacher, it could be helpful because it understands how many students you have got and what are the lessons that you taught. It is helpful for the next time. So it has a lot of different advantages, which OpenAI wants to highlight saying that memory is important. But it's not OpenAI that has to tell us that memory is important. Like I said at the start of the video, this is a quest. A lot of people have been wondering, a lot of people have explored. So if you have reached the video at this point, I would like to thank you. But I would like to also tell you that we covered another big project on this channel before that is called MemGPT. MemGPT does it a much better than what ChatGPT is doing. And I have got a masterclass from MemGPT creators themselves. This is available on our channel for free. I will link that in the YouTube description for you to check it out if you have not seen it. So MemGPT does it a more sophisticated way. ChatGPT is doing or OpenAI is doing more like a custom instruction, which is a different path that they have taken. But I would strongly encourage you to check out mem gpt as well because this this precedes uh, what openai is making it available today and it is more sophisticated than what openai is making it available but in short openai is coming up with a memory thing for chat gpt i think it is going to take chat gpt further forward in making a truly conversational personalized agent or personalized service if you have got this feature enabled which you can check by going into settings and personalization and memory please let me know in the comment section i'm absolutely thrilled to see who uses it and what do they do with that see you in another video happy prompting